Hello everyone and thanks very much for joining me on Dean the Vaping Biker and today we're going to be looking at something that I've discussed a few times in vlogs so far because I've been testing the crap out of this and really really enjoying it. Now this is something that surprised me somewhat but uh, yeah it's a good one. This is the uh, the, the all-in-one kit, the Pollux 25. That's Pollux with a P. A P. <laughs> Pollux 25 kit, and this is from a company called VapeWiz, which is an arm of um, UD. And I've got to say, it's an absolutely, everything about this, I think is great. Um, and I've also got the little uh, 22 mil. This is on the uh, rather manly Asmodus um, Ohmsmium Kodama edition. Anyway, <laughs> let's have a little look at the 25 up close. I'll show you everything that comes with the kit, and then when we come back up top, I will uh, I will tell you all about it. Because if you clicked on this thinking, well, it might be a starter thing, it really isn't. This is a cloudy mofo. That's not too bad, is it? Right. And they're cheap, by the way. And they're cheap. Come on, let's go up close. Come on, then. So here we have the Vape Wiz Pollux 25 kit. The box is just a little bit too long to get in full shot there, but you get the idea of what we're looking at. Now, when I saw this, because I saw this bit, I thought, yeah, this will go with the other kind of starter setups and all that sort of stuff. But how surprised was I? So uh, let's have a little look around the box. Nothing really to get too excited about going on there. And there is a bunch of information to check out down the bottom there. If you so wish, feel free to pause that and away you go. Now, opening the box a little bit. Um, there you've got your warranty card. And here we do have some uh, instructions and all that sort of good stuff. Uh, you can have a little look through this if you get one, but this really is so, so simple. It's ridiculous. Um, there really is nothing to it, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you that. Now, they have sent me these kind of little boxes of extra coils, which um, I have been using because I wanted to keep one in the package uh, so we so I could show it to you in there. Obviously, that normally is situated around about there. Now, this is the, uh, the battery. This is the tank, and that's the coil, obviously. In here, we have just the USB cable. Nothing to get excited about. A couple of spare O-rings there, and that's your lot. Now, we will be using this this uh, this coil when we go back in mainly because this is the last 0.2 coil that I've got so let's have a little look at the mod first shall we let's brighten things up a little bit so we can see things nice and properly um, so this I think I think it looks quite nice it does feel quite light it's not the most expensive piece of kit in the world but uh, it is quite nicely made um, the button once again the button is a little bit cheap but uh, but you know it it does the job. Now you've got the uh, the VapeWiz Pollux 25 kit on the bottom there and underneath you do have a little bit of laser engraving going on at the bottom to tell you that it is made by, although it's under the VapeWiz banner, it is a UD Tech product. So nice and easy, you've got your uh, USB charging cable there or charging point there, indicator lights here and your fire button here. So if I just press that now, nothing happens. So five clicks on like so, and that moves up and shows you that all the cells are uh, fully up to power. Now, what this means is, you know, as you would think, that if this goes all four cells are alight, then that means that it's 100% powered down to 75%. 75% down to 50 takes you to the next one, and then 50 down to 25, and away you go. So, um, nice and easy to see where you're at. So it's not really a great deal I can tell you about this really. Um, I think the battery in it is actually a 3200 uh, 3, milliamp hour battery. So it lasts pretty damn well. Obviously dependent on what you're going to fire this down to. This will fire down to 0 0.15. Obviously it's a regular 510 threading on the top there. So you can put whatever, uh, whatever your own personal atomizers are on top of there if you so wish. But uh, it will fire down to that 0 0.15 now then just to check something I uh, just want well, to show you something more than anything else the uh, the 510 here um, I think it's sprung 
or it could have kind of a bunch of o-rings under there or something like that but it feels like it's sprung there is a reasonable amount of travel on there but it's uh it's certainly not huge a good amount of tension under there anyway so you do get a decent contact um from whatever atomizer you put on there and i've put a fair few on here the main one that i've been rocking on here has actually been the twisted messes um because I think it looks just a little bit swish, to be honest with you. Now, whilst this is 24, this is 25, so it is a little bit of a wider, um, a little bit of a wider mod to be playing around with. But uh, I think it's got the kind of the stylings of a mechanical, whilst having the uh, the functionality of something a little more regulated. I put just a, a black 22 mil atomizer on there just so you can get a vibe for what that looks like as well. And I do think that looks pretty damn reasonable. Right, let's have a little crack onto the tank now because this to me is where the magic happens. This has been absolutely fantastic and it's blown me away quite honestly, I'm not going to lie. Um, now it's simple, simple is as simple does. It really does look super, and in fact what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on to manual focus, just so we know exactly what we're looking at. And hopefully we can keep in focus as well. Whoop, that's a little bit too much deep, too much, calm down. There we go. So now I've got to try and remember not to put it down here or up here. So, um, yeah, so you've got a, uh, a fairly simple little design going on here. It's not dissimilar to the 22 mil Pollux that has been out for some time. Although you will see that the, uh, the glass does have those little lines on it there. And you've got some different branding. Now, I don't know if this is actually the pre-production model of it. But uh, but yeah, this is uh, this is the one that I've got. And uh, from what I've seen with the pre-production models of the 22, it was exactly the same, although they just added these lines to the tank glass and, uh, and put a little bit more branding on the barrel there. But, uh, but no, as far as it goes, I think it looks pretty simple. I think it looks quite nice. Uh, you do have the 2mm marking going on here, but this is a 25mm tank and you can see that it's kind of only a little bit more than kind of halfway going up there. So um, you do actually have a little bit more they say that it can hold up to four mil um and you know it certainly holds more than two more than three so uh it would is certainly cracking its way onto that uh, that four mil now up the top here these are the airflow holes along with the airflow adjustment ring this is one point for development for those guys because it's very very difficult to move this airflow adjustment ring and it works the same on the the uh, pollux 22 as well it's a little bit awkward unless you really have soaked it with with e-liquid you've really got to get a good grasp on there you know um but otherwise underneath once again similar to what we saw underneath the mod uh similar sort of markings we've got going on under there now then the top you do have a removable 510 so you can put your own favorite drip tips on there if you so wish if we just unscrew that We've got a nice big bung going on under here, which helps really seal everything in, which is great. Um, and here we do have the large sort of kidney shaped holes for filling up and a reasonable chimney going on down there as well. Now then, you can remove this airflow control ring as well, if you so wish. Um, now, the, uh, the one issue that I've got with this we'll come to actually in a second. Let me just take this base off. Now, this is obviously is where um, this is just this could this, I can't even talk <laughs> this holds a lot of condensation or if you do get some condensation it tends to be trapped in here rather than coming up into your mouth which is great so the 510 is sealed with that o-ring going on there um, plus there is an o-ring going on on the outside as well uh, while it is slightly protruding there um, personally I wouldn't really advise using this on a uh, on a on a hybrid mod to be honest with you now then the interesting thing comes along here with this airflow because this is ridiculously smooth now what happens here is the airflow comes in the side here and then it comes out through these holes and into the uh, into the coil there and you can see just underneath those three holes you've got the the sort of the tubes that are feeding it just under under where my finger is right there um, and that just it, for some reason this air is so smooth it comes down into these three holes and then I guess it kind of it kind of equalizes itself in this bottom section before going up through the center and out through the coil and it's a, just an absolute joy to use it really really is now if we get one of these new fresh coils here 
if I can get into the bugger. What we're going to do is we're going to just take one of the coils apart as well, just so we can have a little look, see what's inside there. Um, now, what we've got here, where's the focus? There it is. Um, are you going to be able to see that? Maybe if I focus a little bit more. Come on, Mr. Macro. There we go. Um, so hopefully you can see there that um, it tells us the type of the coil. It tells us that it's 20. Oh, I can't even see. Um, 0.2 ohms, 20. <laughs> 0 0.2 ohms, stainless steel, 316, and 40 to 70 watts recommended. Um, you've got an O-ring at the top, an O-ring at the bottom, and nice big wick holes there, which really, really do help. Now then, uh, inside there, you can see you've got a reasonable amount of space inside that chimney. Um, to fix these in, all you do is you pop that in there you kind of have to fiddle around a little bit with the uh with the with the the um that top o-ring on the coil itself and then you've got this knurled section here which you can get hold of and just screw that into the base of the tank so it's super easy to install the uh it's super easy to install the the coils on here and obviously the air will be going um from here into that air hole there or oh, sorry <laughs> coming out there you know what i mean the air, there's the air hole underneath the coil there <laughs> that hopefully it should give you enough information now then just have a little look at this coil itself now what i want to do is try and take this apart just so we can have a good look and see what's in there let's have a little look on getting this uh focused Right, so this is a coil that's been used clearly, um, and I have had this wound up to 70 watts and all sorts of things. But uh, let's see if we can take this apart. Now then, first of all, you've got this spit back guard thing that they use with this kind of mesh going on here. And now we want to get to the coil. We're not going to be able to get to the coil underneath, I don't think. Where are my pliers? Where are my pliers? What have I done with my pliers? I don't think this is going to help us at all, or it's certainly not going to come off. No, it doesn't. So we're going to have to get the coil out from the top here. That is in there good. And I think it's in there good because it's trapped. Can you see those two leads that are trapped under there? Um, this to me tells me that it is a... Uh, that it is a um, um parallel build going on in here so it's going to be a parallel coil that's having whoop, none of it all right pick that up off the floor so i want to try and get this coil out as much as i can there we go there's one and there's two so they would have been rolled up in there as parallels and we'll look at the state of them in a second just want to have a look at this wicking material here. Okay, now we can see that these are nice little copper sheets. They've not, uh, copper, cotton. <laughs> They've not really burnt through that badly at all. Um, we've not really got anything particularly nasty to say there. It doesn't break down in the fingers or anything along those lines. So all in all, this has been a great little wicker and really just has worked extremely well. For those of you that do like to uh, rebuild your uh, your stock coils, I think you're going to have a hard time with this unless you can figure a way of separating this base from, uh, from this section of the coil right there, which I can't do. But uh, yeah, looking at the wire itself, just fairly straightforward, um, straightforward uh, stainless steel 316 there. It's nothing overly exciting. It's not Clapton. It's not got any of that business going on. It's just a nice and straightforward coil. So um, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That is as much as I can tell you on the coil itself. And I think it's a little corker. It really, really is. So what I'm going to do is fill this up with, uh, with my favorite juice, the one that I'm making at the moment. Bang that in there, and it does just hold a butt ton of juice. It really does. Because this juice is thick, it's a quicker job to fill it uh, on both sides. And pop a couple of drips down the middle there. Just for shits and giggles. Oh, airflow control ring needs to go on. Top on. 
like so. Make sure we're all everything's nice and snug. Screw that on the mod. And there we go. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. That is keeping everything nice and simple. And, uh, and yeah, so let's go up top once this has uh, sorted itself out and sucked up a bunch of juice and we'll have a vape. Come on then. Okay, so that was the up close section with the uh, the VapeWiz Pollux 25 kit. And I've got to say, I, <laughs> I'm astounded by this because when I saw this on the box, as I said in the up close, I looked at it and thought, well, yeah, I've got a bunch of starter kits which are good and I'm going to be doing a video for them. And it's fine and it's exciting. It's, just, it's, it's good, you know, do you know what I'm saying? It's, it that didn't get my juices flowing. Um, and so I had it for a couple of days before I opened it and what a shocker this not only is a bit of a beast being the size that it is but also this tank and the 22 mil version of it as well I think is awesome for a sub tank it's <laughs> um, the 22 mil at 55.5 watts Lovely, lovely flavour, lovely cloudage, and uh, this is obviously the twenty-four, uh, the twenty-five mil, um, working on the point two coil, kicking out the battery, which I believe is four point two volts. Uh, let's have a crack. It's a winner. This. Oh, now then, the great thing about this, whilst I've not seen it on. Uh, got wind excuse me well I've not seen it actually for sale yet I don't think it has actually started getting into shops they told me that it started to go across to France and Italy at the moment um, but hopefully we'll come across to the UK soon and I have seen a website in the States where it is up for pre-order um, now I haven't trolled any of the China websites and all that sort of stuff for it so you know if you want to then crack on but uh, but no I was looking for sort of online shops in in our individual countries if that makes sense um but I think this is, I, I, <laughs> I think it clouds well. It's got a slightly restricted airflow because of the size of the hole in that chimney. Um, and so when I've got it wide open, it's not really much different from having one hole closed on the airflow control ring. Now, if I close a, third, a second hole, it gets a little bit noisier and it does... Um, it does kind of restrict it ever such a little amount, but uh, but not a massive amount. Now, you're not really going to be mouth to lunging this, although they do also supply some uh, 0.5 coils, which uh, rock out at um, 30 to 50 watts, they're suggesting. Now, the size of the hole on the, on, the, um, on the inside of that doesn't really appear to be a great deal different. So this isn't really for you mouth to lungers, um, but for a, for, a, for a cheap and cheerful uh, sub-ohm tank and quality little battery that does last pretty well, this is great. Have I told you the price yet? I don't know if I have. Around about 30 bucks. $30. So I imagine that'll equate to about 30 quid in the UK. But that's what I think this is going for. And if this does go for that, it's not the sturdiest. It's not, you know, the thickest metal in the world. It's not, you know, a really roughy tufty set. And I imagine if you threw this from a great height, it would probably dent quite a lot. But who the fuck fold throws their things from a great height just to check them? Um, I think it's, I think it's great. Like I say, you can put your own um, tanks and RDAs and what have you on top of here as well. Um, so, yeah, I think it's a no-brainer. If you want just a workhorse, just something to throw in. Now, obviously, be aware that you're working at maximum battery when the lights are all on. Um, and as that, as that battery power decreases, then the power to your coil is going to decrease that. So you will notice a uh, sort of a, a coming down of your vaping experience as the battery goes down. But uh, generally, I've found that I kind of, um, once I see it goes to uh, the third 
LED. Um, once that I've been vaping on that for a while, generally I'll t I'll tend to uh, I'll tend to get a USB in there because that way it doesn't take very long to uh, doesn't take very long to charge up. Now obviously the battery is 3200 mAh, so it does last a reasonable amount. But if you are going to use the 0.2 coil on it, then uh, you will be aware that that will drop quicker than the 0.5, for instance. But all in all, I don't think there's anything else I can tell you about this. It's really simple. It works really, really well. And these tanks, if you're thinking about getting a cheapy sub-ohm tank, I don't know how easy it's going to be to get the coils. That's the only bugger. Um, then, uh, you know, that's the, that's the thing. Now, if I had to be critical, the one negative on both of these tanks is that you can't fully disassemble them, or at least I've not been able to. I've got lots of cuts on my finger to show that I've tried. Um, you can't fully dis disassemble them for cleaning. So what I've done is I've just run them under a hot tap or stuck them in my ultrasonic cleaner and then just left it on the side uh, to, to dry out or give it a blast with a, with a hairdryer or something like that or leave it on a radiator or what, what, whatever takes your fancy. But uh, once it's dried out, it's, uh, it's just super easy to use. Look at that, look. Um, now, obviously, when you do wash it out, don't wash your coils and your cotton and all that sort of stuff. It's always best to replace the coil in these things. Um, and I imagine the coils are going to be cheap as piss as well, to be honest with you. I'm not going to lie. flavor on it I think is really pretty damn decent. The wicking has been absolutely superb. It keeps up something chronic. I generally will vape this... Um, either on this like so or as I said with the 22 um, which they use the same coils by the way um, on the 22 I have been vaping this around the sort of 55 60 watt kind of region and it's worked out really really nicely even going down to a, a 40 watt kind of level these work out nicely as well so I wouldn't go much lower than that though to be honest with you but uh, that's it that's it ladies and gentlemen this this has been a little bit longer than I wanted it to be, but hopefully it's been useful. Um, I may have may have to cut a couple of bits from the up close because I think I, I just twitted. <laughs> I know you watch me, and you kind of you guys know that I just generally talk bollocks, but you know. I like this. This is great. I have used this so much over the last few weeks. I got, I think I got this about mid-November time, something like that. Um, or like the, the last quarter of November, something. And I've just used it. I think I've used this pretty much every day since I've had it. The coil life seems to last really well. Uh, well, you saw the coil that I'd taken out of that one, and that, that was absolutely fine and dandy. Obviously, that's going to be relevant to the juice that you put in there as well, but I've mainly been putting my, uh, my, my DIY stuff in there so I've really been enjoying it. And it's a pretty cloudy little monster as well. Anyway, right, that's it of me yabbering on. Thanks very much for watching. I've been Dean the Vaping Biker. Vlog comes out tomorrow. Um, exciting times. And there is a fuck ton of stuff to show you in tomorrow's vlog. If you like this, please hit the uh, like button and subscribe if you, uh, if you, if you want to see any more. Thanks very much for watching. Have it large! <laughs>